Hey guys, today we're going to be turning this butane torch into the hand welder from the movie Aliens. I chose this butane torch because it had a very similar tip and rotary knob at the back end as the one did in the movie. So my thought was to be able to strip this whole thing down, all the parts I didn't need, and then build the hand welder around it. Then I brought in a side view picture of the hand welder inside of Fusion 360 and traced around it to get a very rough model. Next I started printing out just the grips to make sure that it felt good in my hands and that took a few steps. Then I measured out more of the detailed parts of the torch so it can fit inside the model. I also cut off part of the arm that controls the amount of butane that comes out. It made it easier to fit inside. It wasn't too big of a deal because you can still control it back and forth. Here's the finished model. I was able to hollow out all the space I needed for the torch while also trying to make sure I kept it as close to movie accurate as possible. I started by using my FDM printers to get like a rough size and feel for everything to go inside. Once I honed in that a little bit, I switched my SLA resin printer that gives me a lot more accuracy and detail. As you can see, it took me several different attempts to get everything fitting just right. Once I finally made all the corrections, I had a piece that I could fully assemble. Everything fit really good off the print bed, but I still had to go and tap some of the holes in the resin for all the pieces to screw together. There's a couple of ways you can do this, like using a tap or running a screw in and out until it has the threads all the way through. Here's the old knob that came off the butane torch. I kept its little screw in there, that way I can reuse that to thread holes on my new piece that's printed out. I did print out a belt clip, but I decided I wanted to make it out of metal, so I traced it out onto a sheet of aluminum and cut it out. Next, I carefully drilled some holes, then used some pliers to bend the clip into its final shape. For inside the shield, I used this black transparent acrylic, which I think worked out really well. Now I was finally ready to put everything together and make sure it worked and felt right before painting it. I will be going over assembly more in detail at the end since I'm going to be putting it together twice. Of course, you can't have a project without sanding. I went up to 320 grit, which is good enough for this filler primer to hide all the scratches. Alright, so I leave a lot of painting out of this video, mainly because it's not my strong suit, but also there's a lot of other good content creators who go over this kind of stuff. I really like to watch Punished Props, and if you haven't seen those guys, you should definitely go check them out. However, on my Instagram, I do go over painting and some of the other little things that didn't necessarily make it into the video. So if you want to see more things like that on these projects, I'll leave a link down below. I went ahead and used standard olive green on everything, but after talking with some other Alien fans on Instagram, they told me about this way closer color to the one in the movie, and that's this Blaster Brown from SMS. Before I went back to respraying, I printed out a couple pieces to fit inside the hand welder and cut this rod to make a handle. I put painter's tape on both sides where I was going to attach them and then use CA glue to give me an instant bond. This really comes in handy on trying to paint those hard to reach places instead of it laying flat down on the table. Now that everything was painted, I moved on to final assembly. The first step is to screw on the new rotary knob, then slip over its decorative piece and the tip cover. Then I lay the butane torch inside of one half of the handle. 
Now I have this little red button that goes in the back. I could have just glued this in place, but I decided to add a spring on the back to it to give it a better feel. Then I can move on to fitting the two handle pieces, put the screws in to hold it together, and add all the other accessories. Then it was finally time to give it a go. I did weather it a bit to give it a more dirty and used look, which I think turned out really well. I also made some stands to hold this. The first one worked out really well and fit really nicely on my desk. But I decided to try out another design that would display it a little bit better. Plus I added some hanging slots on the back so it could fit on my wall. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite projects that I've done so far. From start to finish, it went pretty smoothly and there wasn't many mistakes, which is a good change of pace. If you wanted to make one of these for yourself, I actually left all the 3D files on my Thingiverse page, as well as all the material that I use for this project. That's about it for this one, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.